Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple lock differential in scrap mechanics. So, uh, here it is. Um, what this basically does is it uses the no collision um, suspension to go through the block and these um, two parts are, this entire axle is welded together. So, these two will basically spin as one big wheel and will always have the same torque and speed. So, uh, as you can see, it works. It's pretty drifty. It's a bit laggy because I have some stuff spawned over there. Uh, but yeah, it's drifty. It works. No glitch welding. It's all fine. But, uh, there is another more compact method because, as you can see, this one takes a bit of space. Uh, now, uh, this one uses a glitch welded piston to pass it through to the other one, but it does have some flaws compared to this one. Uh, now, if we, uh, let me detach this real quick. Let me just move this out of the way and put this back on the lift. So if we weld this onto this, uh, oh uh, yeah, I need to hook it up. So, first thing, uh, since of, because of the glitch welding, it can only run on one bearing, so you have reduced torque. Um, second thing is, uh, so let me show you here. If you left turn, because that's the way the piston is, uh, as you can see, it pulls the axle out and it extends your left left side outwards so it's does have its flaws um but it is um much more compact than the one over there and it but it does also use glitch welding so to um make these uh let me just show you that one first uh need a tower uh wait let me just do this on it's probably easier if you make a tower like this then you put your bearing, your pipe, your pipe T, and then you just put your angles here. And then you put your suspensions. Uh, you can set them to whatever you want, just set them to max. And then after that, you put your angles, your bearing, your T, and after that you want to weld these together like this and then you're out the pipe so now you have a uh, your um locked together part and then you can just extend these out like the normal axle like so and uh, just slap on some wheels and then uh, just do this Uh, just detach this one real quick and I'll show you that it works. So we just do this, take a weld, and, oh wait, we have to place a block here first, uh, just take this, oh, wrong way, uh, yeah, uh, there. So, uh, if we just weld it here, connect these together, it works, it is still drifty, uh, yeah, and it just works. Uh, so, um, to make this one, you can't do it on your lift. You need to use your lift to make it work. So, what you have to do is um, just have your tower on the floor, well, to the ground. Uh, let me get my piston real quick. Basically, what you have to do is you have to put your two pipes, your lift right here, and then push this up. So, this is called bearing flex, basically. Uh, 
this lift pushes the pipe out of the way, and since the bearings are a bit floppy, it does this. So then you just attach your piston to the end of it, your pipe, and then you can move your lift. Your piston is now glitch welded into the thing. So just extend it out. Uh, Uh, extend out like this. Take your wheels, put them there. Now, uh, now you just take, uh, this. Let me just move this real quick. Move this. Put this back on. Uh, just jump on this. Take this top of it, weld it onto here, and connect it, like so, and yeah, it works. It's also really trippy because it is a lock differential after all. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.